seen like the view count on my video from Sunday it's crazy and it's all trolls for some reason there's like a whole bunch of hate fans just piled onto it uh, mostly because I in my rage win I kind of foolishly well pulled in the kids and I that was a just a a judgment mistake and it happened because I was pretty damn pissed off and I was trying to hold back but yeah when it glows hot enough you just like I just grab I saw it I grabbed it I didn't think that that's really harsh and all that but it yeah the crazy thing about it is that it was actually based on real serious concern it's just yeah when you're raging with that really serious concern just like completely flips inside out and it's just freaking ugly so it was a serious judgment mistake on my part and I apologize well to my viewers because they're the ones that actually have to endure these freaking trolls now and they have like Expedition Truth here and Blue Pill Devolution and I want to apologize to you guys for my lap of judgment and now you having to like indirectly deal with that and I'm like I'm relieved that you're not <clears throat> sick of it because in a way I am you know I am trying to work on this control thing with the rage win but it's a very tricky thing to control <laughs> right because a little bit of rage is very easy to control but if it really especially if it's sudden like a betrayal it it makes it very hard to control Ada Studio yeah to you too right however I've actually been thinking carefully and who I'm not gonna apologize to is freaking Flatsoid especially the way that he responded I really think he was gonna take the take the gemstone and just be the bigger man but no 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 <clears throat> So, hey, if he's not going to take it that serious, well, then I'm not going to take it that serious either, you know? And, hey, my rage was over the top, but the concerns were legitimate. If you hang around with really trashy people, it radiates right onto your family and your children especially your children you think like oh just because they're not with their attention there it's not yeah but you have it in you and so that becomes you to your children that radiance it will normalize it to them and then they're more vulnerable to get involved with really fucked up people and that's actually what I was sort of trying to warn about. But yeah, I was just... Hey, what the fuck? Get, uh, uh, it was just... It came out completely retarded, basically. Like a, like a caveman. But I just wanted to share that there was a very serious underlying thought behind it. Was my comment on this exotic sounding accent? Yeah, but I don't even want to get into like, oh, he's a special boy or something. But I mean, it's not like he's working on it or anything. I pay attention a lot to pronunciation. And I've noticed that it seems very much at times he on purpose lets, lets it slip up. Like lets it Africanize. 
He does it on purpose. I can tell because I am like have detail sensories about that. I pay a lot of attention to pronunciation. I do that because I'm fascinated with it. Almost obsessed because I was like really trained in it when I was young. <laughs> It's like really trained. Like always pronounced. Like almost get punished if you don't take it serious. <laughs> right, so I just have a lot of attention. And I noticed that. Like, yeah, you're flopping. You're just Africanizing because oh, it makes you exotic. Sort of like an exotic white, right? You're doing? Yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to clown around with it. I kind of want to leave this shit behind me. I mean, Flatsoid, I feel like he's basically just trolled me. And he wants to just go raging back and forth or something. He just wants me to do it. And I'm not going to do that, you know? I spend a lot of time avoiding trash, even though they always put it on my doorstep digitally. So. If I'm just gonna like, oh, I'm gonna do his accent again or something, it's just gonna play into that more. <sighs> yeah, that's what it's just true. No, but I don't really want to call him out, Terry. I don't need to call him out, okay? QE's already called him out. QE's already said, like, months ago, like, he's a clown. He's messing it up big time. Sometimes he gets it right, right? If you can, if you can make out what he's saying. It's more like, oh, you recognize what he's saying. If you wouldn't recognize what he was saying, you wouldn't even make out what he's saying. So, it's just, <clears throat> I don't need to call him out. I don't want to call him out. He said some really just gross things and it's, like, I don't want to have anything to do with that. It's all just fun and games to him, you know? Besides, I don't want to poke at, like, Floodsoid's pen list, either. I mean, those guys are just getting all worked up and all that. I don't want to do that. I like his pen lists. But they all, every time this happens, they always, like, do that. I don't care. I don't think it really matters. I mean, what, were they gonna hold a grudge? Why? You're not going to be in the same room with me? Okay. Whatever. I mean, I hold nothing against you. I get it that you really thought it was distasteful or whatever. Yeah, sure. I basically gave recognition to that. But hey, if you don't want to hear my apology or my insights as to why that even happened, then yeah, that's your problem. I don't want to agitate things any further. I'm already freaking agitated enough that that flat sides just hanging with troll scumbags in the first place. And hey, I already had my reaction. Besides verbally, like I'm just not gonna be hanging in his chat and following his show anymore. It's just like no, I'm done with this. It's not worth it anymore. And that'll solve the problem most of it. <sighs>